Hi, this is Fernando Herboso with Herboso & Associates, Maryland, D.C., Virginia. I am a broker for my own company, which is Herboso & Associates, LLC. I want to speak to you today about the new phase of housing opportunity. I want to show you what people are doing right now behind the scenes in which they're putting themselves in a position to make a lot of money with investing in properties. And this is not about flipping properties. This is something different to flipping properties. You know, I always tell my clients, you know, are you ready for retirement? Mm -hmm. the, best, the best question I can ask to you is that, are you willing to put the social security program as a way, as the main ingredient of your retirement? Are you willing to rely on the social security that's going to be available for you once you get older? You know, this new housing crisis in the United States has created many opportunities for so many investors. And one of the things that we had just a few months ago, as a matter of fact, was the flipping properties where people were purchasing properties, fixing them, rehabbing and selling them again, making a good profit. But now the flipping property system is a little bit going downhill because there are many problems that are existing right now, specifically about finding new buyers where the appraiser can appraise the property for higher amounts so they can make money and they have to go and making sure that the appraiser and the bank and whoever is giving the loan, you know, are convinced that the house is really worth that much more from just a few weeks ago when they first, when the investor first purchased the property. So <clears throat> what we're talking about right now is buying, buying properties, renting them out for cash flow, for a monthly cash flow. You know, in some places we're seeing that some investors are coming even from outside the United States and they're seeing the amazing investment environment that we have and it's not uncommon for some of them buying 5, 10, even 20 properties at a single time. You know, let me show you what we're talking about. Monthly cash flow is basically this. We buy a property and then you rent it and then after you pay in, uh, any fees that you have from the money that you acquired, this condo, townhouse or house, you are having enough money to supplement your income. So you don't need to stop in one property. You can do two, three, five, ten properties, and pretty soon you can create yourself a small fortune on a monthly basis if you have the money to invest right now. The most important factor is to make sure you understand that we need to find a criteria for purchasing rental property for you. And this will be based on your needs and based on the type of risk you want to take. That's why it's very important that you and I can connect so we can speak about this, so I can give you the advices and what options are there for you. Uh, once, and the, the way to look at it is the criteria you have when you invest in properties is like doing a road, laying the road down and putting the walls on each side to make sure you don't get off the road. And once you have that in place, there is no way you're gonna fail because you have your criteria down pat and you know that your destination is the goal you're looking for. You know, and I want to show you what we take in consideration just so you can have a little idea. You know, but we take in consideration that the place where you where you buy in a property property is a place where it's afford that has an affordability for the renter. That the renters uh, are working, the renters are making enough money and they're looking for houses such as the one that you want to purchase. Obviously, you don't want to buy a property where there is no rental market available, where the people are not working or they're broke and there's nothing going on around there. The most specific thing I can tell you is go in a place, especially in the area where we work in Montgomery County, where there's close to the metro, close to transportation, a lot of work around here, a lot of service work, and people cannot afford the average house. People cannot afford the average house in Montgomery County, but they yet they still work here. So they need something cheaper to live, and that's where you come in. This is where you put in a rental. So give you an example. We, put, uh, we purchased a home for one of my clients and this is what I call orphan condos because nobody wanted. This particular property, the original owner paid $153,990 for this property. My client bought it for $42,500 cash. We rented it for $1,200 a month and the condo fees were $373, estimated taxes $122 and uh, basically my client has, is having a total of $705 per month, $8,460 per year. That's just one condo. What if you could finance 10 of 10? Please give me a call. Thank you.